In this video, I'm going to show you how to use dry initializer to simplify your view components or service objects in Rails. So I've created a quick project here. Um, we've got this video card component, which is a view component. And if we go to our index page, you can see it currently takes a title and a thumbnail. If we look at the component, this probably looks fairly familiar. We set up an initializer, we pass in title, we set an instance variable for title, and we do this whole same thing for thumbnail, and we create an adder reader for title and thumbnail, and then we can use those in the view. One of the ways to tidy this up is to use the dry initializer library that allows us to pass in options like this without having to do all that additional boilerplate code. So we'll go back to our project and we will bundle add dry initializer. Then we can go over to our components directory and create an application component. I'm just going to paste this in and we will go back to our video card component and make it inherit application component. The nice thing is all the new components you generate will automatically inherit from application component. Next, we can get rid of all of this code and we can create option and we'll say title and then we can say option thumbnail. If we go back to our project and reload, it all still works. The next thing we want to do is um, make the thumbnail optional. So if we copy this and let's just say draft video and we reload, you'll see we get an error. Option thumbnail is required. And we can just go back to this and say optional true. And now when we hit save, it uses our default blurred out uh, thumbnail because we haven't provided one. And finally, you can also pass a default value for the options uh, by passing a proc and passing in a value. Thanks for watching. I hope that little tip was useful. I'm going to be using it in all my projects going forward. And if you like and want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.